I'm going to show you where to get the Fire's Deadly Sin incantation in Elden Ring. Also, you have to get a painting in order to get it. I'm going to show you how to get the painting. So first thing you need to do is get a painting. It's kind of mid-game, so you're going to have to go to... Well, actually, you need to go to the Fortified Manor first floor, but I'm going to show you how to get there from the West Capitol Rampart, which is a more likely grace for you to have if you've gone through the city. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to get there from here, just so you get a better idea of how to actually get to this painting. So once we load in, we have to go forward and to the right. So you're looking to the southeast, come out the southeast gate right here, our door. You just go down these stairs immediately and turn around and then go over this way. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy, but you don't have to. And then you're going to drop off right here towards this whatever giant obnoxious building. And once you get into here, you're going to head to the front right, almost directly west. And you'll go through the second door and then in here, you'll go to the left. I'm going to put a lantern on so you can see better. Uh, go to the left. It's, you know, there's only one path to go at this point. Go right. Here's a grace. And right behind the grace is the painting that we need. The flightless bird painting. Uh, and this is after, I mean, this is a spoiler, by the way, but this is after I lit the tree of blaze and all that. But I haven't completely beaten the game yet. So I'm not sure if this will get locked at some point or not. I heard people talking about it might be able to get locked. I'm not sure. But at this point in the game where I've already been to Crumbling Ferrum but haven't beaten Crumbling Ferrum, it's still here. So next you need to go to the Windmill Village. There are these crossroads right here by the Ur Tree, like North Ur Tree. And it'll be this road right here. It'll lead you to this grace. Okay, so this is the grace. You're going to head up the hill to the east. And from here, it's just a matter of getting to that spot that was shown in the painting, which is in this region. So you're just going to go all the way to the top of the stairs. And then you're going to go... Um, to the right once we get up there. It's a, it's a long run, but we're almost done already, actually. So you're going to curve around like this and then go to your right, which will then be to the east and then to the south. Now we're going to head straight south, basically, past these three. When you see these three by all the flowerful things, whatever those things are called, I'm sure there's a name for them. It's going to be right here. Now that we have the painting, when we go here, there's this guy, and he just fades away. And then it leaves an item right here, and you pick up the item, and it's Fire's Deadly Sin. So kind of a weird one to get, but that's how you're going to get Fire's Deadly Sin. That is right here on the map, by the way. Um, we zoom all the way out, and then zoom back in. This little corner right here, just to the east of Windmill Village Grace. I'm going to try this on some enemies now. So what this ability does is it sets you aflame. It doesn't do damage to you. Well, it actually does do damage to you. I take that back. It does do damage to you, just not super fast. Uh, so you can actually charge it to make it go faster, which it does. I can see I'm losing HP faster now. And then I can just be near an enemy and it will do damage. Actually it does decent damage, surprisingly. I'm kind of surprised at that. And I guess it could do even more damage depending on what your faith is and what your item is. I'm just using a level 1 finger, finger seal. And my faith is at 52. I do have a lot of faith. Uh, so, I mean, the sky's the limit on your stats for this. But the big thing is there's apparently a, a kind of cheat thing with this where you could use a um, weapon buff, and then it will also apply to this. That's where it's broken. They may patch it out soon. I'm going to make another video about this shortly from now, probably. Um, let me go ahead and buff this too now. So this is death that I have on. I don't know if these guys can even be hit with death. Oh, these guys might be immune to this, actually, if it does work. Yeah, these guys might be immune to it. Let me go try it on an enemy that doesn't already look dead. All right, now these guys are definitely not dead. So let's buff up. Okay, and then buff the weapon. Give death. Let's see if this works like how I was led to believe it may work. I don't know if this guy can even survive long enough to die to the, the blight, but it was supposed to apply faster than that. So I'm un uncertain about that. Uh, I'll leave that up to you guys' testing to see if you can get that to work. And I'm going to be testing it and make a bigger video about that mechanic in general. But this is the ability, uh, this is the uh, sorcery incantation, I mean, and how to get it. It is called, uh, one more time, it is called Fire's Deadly Sin, sets area and self ablaze with raging flames. I also showed you how to get the paint to get to the painting earlier in this video, which you'll need that painting in order to get that guy to appear in order to get the incantation. So hopefully that helps you out. Now you know how to get that incantation in Elden Ring.